What is going on everyone? Leon checking in and we're at it again with more content and today we're covering more of the Lenovo Legion Go and covering the RGB and how to switch presets as well as how to customize that RGB lighting using the Legion Space application. Now RGB customization for the Legion Go can be a bit confusing since we aren't going to find it in the place that we would think it would be. But all things said, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we are with the Lenovo Legion Go. I'm on my desktop and we're going to look for the Legion Space app. This is going to be the icon that's a hexagon shape with somewhat of a circle pattern on the inside of it and I'm going to tap on it. Now the Legion Space application is essentially a launcher for your games. In my opinion, it's pretty basic, but it gets the job done. So we're going to have some presets on this device right out of the box, and they can be accessed by pressing the Legion R button, which is the button on the right side of the joystick on the top. And that's going to slide out a side panel here. Now this menu is going to be divided into two sections. We're going to have a left side, which is very narrow, and then a right side with more details. Now we're focusing on RGB for this video, so we're going to look at that left panel there, and we're going to look for the controller icon and tap on that. So now we're going to focus on the right panel, which will have controller information. There are some settings in here. We're going to ignore most of them since we're focusing on lighting effects. That being said, we do have a lighting effect section here, and you can tell there's going to be three presets. So we're going to have one, two, three, as well as the ability to turn these lighting effects off by tapping off. But the question is, why would you want to do that? This is a highlight of the Legion Go. So we're going to leave the lighting effects on and I'm just going to pick something. We'll pick three. But this is where things get confusing. You would think that the lighting effect customization would be in this menu. But again, this is all very basic here. These are just what I would call quick settings. And that being said, you're not going to find customization here, but let's get to customization. So again, we're going to press that Legion R button on the top of the right controller, and that's going to close that side menu. And we're going to bring back into focus our main screen, our home screen for the Legion Space application. You're going to see we have a menu right in the center here, and we're going to look for settings and tap on it. So this is going to refresh the page. Again, we're going to have a left panel and a right panel. And again, we're focusing on the lighting effects or the RGB customization. And if you look on this left panel here, you could see there is the option controller, but it's also not in there because that would be very straightforward. Customization of the lighting effects or the RGB is going to be in Customize. And this is going to refresh that right panel there. So we have a Customize page here, and we can either disable or enable lighting effects with a slider, or we can customize lighting effects. So we're going to tap on that category. And this is going to refresh the whole page. So again, we have three lighting profiles for the Legion Go thumbsticks. And again, we are on the third profile, but if we wanted to customize other profiles, we would just tap on that drop down menu and select the profile that we would like to customize. But I'm going to customize Lighting Effect 3 or Profile 3. And then scrolling down, we are going to have our effects. These are essentially our animations. Now, this list isn't very thorough, but there are a few options if you really want to trick out your unit to your personal taste. So right now we have Spiral Rainbow selected. We're obviously going to have a rainbow theme here, but it looks like the RGB or the lighting effect is rotating around the thumbstick and then bleeding into the next color. Really cool. But if we tap that drop down menu, we could see our other options. So the next option here will be dynamic color. This is like a quick breathe in mode here where it bleeds into the next color. If we tap that drop down menu again, we're going to have Blinken. So this appears to be a solid color and it's just breathing. 
And then if we tap the drop down menu again, our last option is solid. So this is just solid. It's just one color that you select. This is perfect if you want overall consistency of your handheld. Say you have some colored wallpaper and you want the thumbsticks to match or maybe you want them to go against each other. That's interesting as well. But for this tutorial, I am going to switch to blinking. And we're going to have some options here. We're going to have color and speed down below. Now, but depending on what you choose, you're going to have some other options too. So let's see if I select solid, we're going to have color and brightness again underneath. If I tap dynamic color, we're going to have brightness and speed. So it changes slightly depending on what you're selecting. Spiral Rainbow has brightness and speed. Again, if I go back to Blinken, we're going to have color and then speed. So we're going to choose a color here. I am going to try to go with, with uh, we'll go with green. And then we have speed. So again, this is Blinken, so we're on fast. And this is going to be fast here. If we put it halfway here, let's see what we get. We'll go about halfway. It's going to be a slower blinking, and this is really just a breathing mode. And we can go really slow. So it's going to be a very, very slow breathing. But we could also go solid. I think I'm actually going to go solid on this one. So we've selected solid, and then we're going to choose a color. I'm going to try to go with as much as white as possible here. And then you can see for solid, we are going to have brightness and I like my RGB or my lighting effect very bright. Now, one thing I haven't seen here that I would like to see is individual customization of each thumbstick because I would love to have one thumbstick be red and the other one be white. Also, I don't know if this is possible, but I would like this lighting effect or RGB to be able to sync with music or maybe in-game effects. Maybe uh, there is like an explosion in the game and these would flash. Something like that, that would also be really cool. But overall, this feature works really good using the Legion Space app. I love the RGB lighting effects on the Legion Go. The only handheld that is as noteworthy, as popular, uh, that has this kind of RGB would be the Asus ROG Ally. And I think if you're an RGB person, you're either going to choose between that or this. But I have to say, I am absolutely loving the Legion Go. It is a monster of a handheld. This thing is huge, just to give you an idea. My hands are on it right now. But I love this huge display. So it's going to be huge, but you're going to get that nice, huge display with it. And it's a plus. So that is it for today's content. As always, thanks for watching and may the universe flow in your favor. And until next time. Leon, check in out.